Hey, can you stop making noise? I'm trying to make a video. I'm trying to make a video. I'm trying to make a video. Here at Arouse, we're no stranger to weird content. We receive dozens of emails a day, sometimes press releases, sometimes new album releases, and we think we've seen it all. That is, until we discovered Michael DiGiacomo. Hey, keep it down, I'm trying to study. Yeah, please, I'm trying to study. Michael DiGiacomo, operating under the YouTube brand Happy English, is a name to remember. He's been teaching English in New York City since 1994, but what makes this video series truly special? And my boss had a cow. His sense of humor. He had a cow. Oh my God, he totally had a cow. Watch Happy English as a non-native speaker and you'll learn American idioms the way that they're supposed to sound. Watch as a native speaker and be prepared for some art. My boss lost it. He totally lost it. I mean, like, he lost it. We sat down with Michael for a Skype interview from his office in New York City to meet the man behind the video series that's taken the radio station by surprise. My company is called Happy English. I've been teaching English to non-native speakers since 1994. I spent four years in Japan as an English teacher. I worked for a language school company uh, in New York. And then in 2010, I started Happy English, which, which is my own company. The real, the, the reason for the videos is to, is to help people, give people an example of what it sounds like and how people really speak. I'm going to crash as soon as I go home. Oh yeah, I'm going to crash as soon as I get home. I can't wait to get home and crash. As Americans, we take that for granted. You know, you hear somebody in a movie say that, but for a non-native speaker, some you, you watch a movie and and Robert De Niro says, "Yeah, I'm gonna go home and crash." Really? Like, drive safely on the way home. Uh, the pronunciation videos, because of the way that you deconstruct the language and and spread mm -hmm. it out. Uh, and in my friend Matt Bacher's words, it trips us out when we realize that we're doing these things too. Um, especially like the "is he is he," and, you know. Right. Is he did he? Is he ready? Is he nice? Is he happy? Is he a teacher? Is he? Did he? Did he? Did he? Did he go? So what I think is special about Michael's videos with Happy English is he's taking something very familiar, deconstructing it in new ways that I never thought possible. For example, his lesson on idioms and, you know, just common phrases that native speakers use. Uh, for example, a cup of joe. Every morning, I like to start my day with a cup of joe. This is a really good cup of joe. Ooh, awesome. Um, it, it gets you thinking, who is joe? Where, where do these terms originate? And who is the first person to say it? And why are we saying it? And why are we saying it the way that we are? A cup of joe, not a cup of joe. A cup of joe. A cup of joe. In, in second language acquisition, I think the last thing to get is the humor. Because the humor is, 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 is very, very intimate with the language. And I think just before the jokes comes, what are we going to do? Got to becomes got to. What do I? What do I got to do? What do I got to do? The what do I got to do video? Uh, features one of my favorite segments that you've done that I've seen where you just rip into an Elton John song. Uh, what is it? Um, sorry, it seems to be the hardest word. What do I gotta do to make you love me? What do I? What do I gotta do? I, I love comedy. Like, to be honest with you, like, that stuff just, it happens at the moment. And I'm like, oh, I can do this here. And I just try to do that. <laughs> That's awesome so, to hear that it's kind of improvised in a sense. Yeah, 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 no, it's, yeah. I think Michael is on the forefront of YouTube innovation. I think language videos could be almost a new wave production of what, what's going to be trending online. Michael's delivery is one of a kind. No one else in the game is doing it the way he's doing it. No one else delivers it the way he delivers it. And to me, that's very iconic. It's a scorcher out there. Oh my God, it's a scorcher out there. Whoo, it's a scorcher out there. Um, so I do have some fan questions from some of our members as sort of a lightning round thing. <laughs> this is awesome, oh my God. Okay, great. Do you have any opinions on the sparkling water LaCroix? I've never seen that, but uh, 
Is it good? It's delicious. Tying back into your musical influences, do you have any musical influences? I know that Elton John mentioned earlier. Uh, or do you have a favorite album that holds a special place in your heart? I spent um, the first 14 years of my adult life in the music business as a musician, as a music teacher. I'm a diehard Pink Floyd fan. I grew up, I grew up with Pink Floyd. Um, so, you know, I don't know, Wish You Were Here probably from Pink Floyd, that album, Shine Me Crazy Diamond. I was born in the 60s and in the 60s was the bossa nova Brazilian jazz sound, The Girl from Ipanema. And I have that album. And I and and that's I love that too. I have a kind of like an eclectic uh, taste in music, but I love that album too. So, question number three: How do you take your coffee? Oh, I take it black. I take it black. I take it black. I take it black. I don't know. How do you take your coffee? I take it black. Question number four: Prettiest American state in terms of geographical outline? It would have to be Florida. Florida is good. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck, excuse me, or 100 uh -huh. duck-sized horses? Oh, uh, one horse-sized duck, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because one-on-one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick his yeah. ass. That's no problem. <laughs> all in all, Michael's work seems to inspire native speakers and non-native speakers alike, and it's safe to say that many are looking forward to the next Happy English lesson. Hey guys, it's Michael here from Happy English, and what do you know? You're listening to Arouse OSU, Ohio State's home for student radio. I think it's time for a cup of joe.